Diane in Denmark here. Let me just get the timer going. We're going to be working for 15 minutes and I'm going to be doing some detailed cleaning in my kitchen. Now, this is this week's zone. If you, if you take your calendar, you'll see that week two of the month, here we are, we are working in zone two, which is the kitchen. And that's one of the things that I love about the Fly Lady Zone system is that we're always moving forward. And, you know, we're moving from one area to the next. So in one way, you know, we're covering all our bases, we're covering the whole house uh, and we're not getting kind of bogged down in things because, you know, we get bored easily. I don't know about you, but I get, you know, my attention span is very short. So this really satisfies me that, you know, we're working in one area and then we move on to the next. And it always feels like really exciting at the beginning of a new week. Anyway, I am here to cheerlead you through the process. Here we have got my pom-poms. And remember, we're focusing on what we can do and what we get done. We're not worrying about all the things that we don't do, all right? That's, that's not how we do it. Uh, I'm just going to take off my um, jacket because I'm getting ready to work. And I'm going to put my Fitbit because I always get a lot of extra steps in. And listen, just a few ground rules. If you are, uh, if you've just started the Fly Lady system um, and you've done the 31 baby steps, do not, do not think that you should be doing detailed cleaning. The main thing that you should do once you've gone through the 31 baby steps, remember I, I walked you through all of those, there's a link up there somewhere. Uh, the idea of the 31 baby steps is that we build up routines that we're, you know, we're kind of dressed to shoes, I've got my indoor shoes on, I'm ready to work. Uh, and that we set ourselves up, we're, we're getting to bed earlier, we're eating, you know, focusing, we're actually eating <laughs> during the day and not kind of thinking, I'll do that later. And then once you've got those routines going and, you know, we're doing a little bit of decluttering every day, then you can add in the weekly home blessing hour. Um, and as with the baby steps, I walked you through each of the seven tasks. So there's a playlist Use that or make, you know, use the videos and make your own playlist of the order that suits you. Don't worry about detailed cleaning, you know, you, you, will, you will get to that. The main thing is that you keep on going with your routines and you do a little bit of decluttering every day because then it makes it much easier all the rest. But anyway, enough talk from me as usual. Um, and I'm going to start, you, you've seen me doing this before, you've seen me cleaning, you've seen this kitchen and it's like, oh, I, I feel like we've just been in here. Anyway, I'm going to go um, clockwise around the room with my feather duster on a stick. And it was funny to you on Instagram that some of you have been uh, doing the same thing. Just take a piece of uh, tape and use an old uh, mop handle and then you can stick it on and that way you can really get up. Um, you know, to your high ceilings without standing on chairs, because that's what I used to have to do. And, you know, I am Scottish and thrifty, and there's no way I'm paying for an extra uh, duster, so I just made do with what I had. Here we are. Yay! Actually, um, not really many uh, cobwebs today. Go me. I'll, I'll give that a shake outside when we're finished. I won't leave you just now, don't worry. Right. On to the next thing. Um, I'll, I'll wipe down the counters. She wipe the counters. And I'm just doing, um, let me just turn you a wee bit that way. All, all I'm doing is wiping down the counters. You don't have to move everything off. And you may, when you saw me working in here last month, um, do you remember I was going to sand down the worktops and I don't mean you know with a big electrical sander I just used a piece of um, sandpaper and I got them uh, sanded down and then I put on some uh, new oil it, it's one from Ikea um, and you can use it you know, I sanded down the, the worktops and I also sanded down my chopping boards, which are made of leftovers from the worktop here. And I got those oiled. So that was my uh, extra thing that I got done in zone two last time. So I was really pleased about that. Felt like I kind of had a new kitchen. Okay, I'm just moving along. And remember, when you're working um, in your kitchen,
which in, you know, just the very fact of wiping down the surfaces, you'll spot things and think, hmm, does that really need to live here or can it be put away? And actually using that appliance, is it something that's broken, you thought you were going to fix it, never got around to it? Probably not. So anyway, I'm just behind you at the moment doing the end of the kitchen counter. And as I always remember, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so I don't have all the equipment and I'm not going to go moving camera around. I don't edit stuff. Kind of one take. <laughs> I'm a one take YouTuber. Right. So that's on one side. Let me just get that out. Remember, you don't need to do the same as me. If you want to take the fly ladies cleaning lists. I'll actually show you those in a minute. Let me just wipe down on the other side. I'm, I'm over beside the, I'll move you a wee bit. There we are, I'm over beside the stove. And this is where my instant pot uh, lives on top of the stove. And I can leave my one there because we have an induction uh, hob so it can't kind of catch fire but you know if you've got, if you've got a gas hob don't go putting your instant pot on top right oh here's something I know I do yeah my uh, and, and this is what I was talking about just the very fact of wiping down the surfaces you'll find something that you might want to detail clean and these are uh, let me just put this down Are our salt and pepper um, mills and let me just put something down uh, and these you know I've talked about I love my gadgets you've seen my, uh, my iron and you know I'm into gadgets uh, and I like those kind of things instead of you know diamonds and pearls and fur coats for my birthday and Christmas and these I actually bought as a present for my dad and then I got some for myself uh, you see, I need to switch off the light so you can see. And it's a salt and pepper mill, very fancy. And I don't know if you can see that, but they light up. <gasps> Isn't that fantastic? And bonus, for me, it always sounds like something out of uh, Star Wars. Okay, listen. Does it sound like one of those uh, wing fighters coming in? No. And now I've got some... Uh, pepper all over the place. But here's the salt one, that's needing filled up, so I might do that right now. And it's the same thing, hold on. Can you see? It lights up, how fantastic is that? Anyway, I'm gonna, first of all, get all this uh, salt and pepper, remove that, put the lights back on so you can see what you're doing. And I'm just going to wipe out, the salt and pepper mills have some little um, stainless steel holders so they don't make a mess when you've got them on the counter. And I'm just gonna give them a rub on the outside. So when you're going around, you may find, uh, like if you saw my cleaning video last month when we were in this zone, uh, I cleaned out the thing that holds the cutlery, uh, not the cutlery, the, um, the cooking utensils. That went in my dishwasher. I'm just going to wipe out this one. And there's fantastic, those salt and pepper things there. I don't know, it just amuses me and keeps me happy. So anyway, I'm giving those a wipe on the outside. Because they do get finger fingerprints on them. There we are. Yay, good as new. And I'm almost out of salt, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm sure you've heard, if you've been uh, a fly lady follower for many years, you will know the do it now principle. You know, if something only takes a minute to do, do it right now. Okay, good. Okay, that's us filled up with salt. Put this back on. And then I shall move on to the next thing. Oh, hold on. Right. 
Great, nice to get that job. Just a small job, but something that kind of makes you smile <laughs> on a daily basis. Right, that's the salt and pepper. Put that away. Oh yes, I was going to say to you about the fly ladies cleaning lists. You know, sometimes, you know, we're all a bit, uh, we like to rebel a bit. I don't kind of like to follow the lists too much. So I kind of just do what I want to do on that particular day, like today. Uh, but in, here's my control journal, which sits on the kitchen counter. And if I just get to the page here, yeah, here I'll take it out so you can see it. Uh, you can print off cleaning lists from the Fly Lady uh, website, flylady.net. You can find all the missions for the week, what we're doing. But it'll give you a list of things to do, you know, suggestions of what you can do on a monthly basis or on a seasonal basis. You know, because a lot of things they don't need done every month, like deep cleaning the oven. You don't need to do that every week or every month. Just do it once or twice a year, you know? Um, but those are quite useful and you can cross off when you've done it and say, oh, well, next month I'll get to that. That's what we're doing. We're just not focusing on what we haven't done, but just saying, okay, I've got that done, that's great, and next time I'll do something else. Um, right, what should I do next? I know what I'll do next. I'm going to remove filters from, because this is a really easy job, it feels like I've done something big, um, the filters from our extractor fan, they're actually not looking too bad, I cleaned them last month, they go directly in the dishwasher, so I'm going to do that right now. And the other thing I'm going to get set up right now, as I mentioned to you last month, just hold on, move that way. Um, this is uh, what I keep underneath my sink. We've got the uh, trash, trash can. Uh, we have one for recycling. That gets emptied daily. That's pretty grotty, so I'm going to be cleaning that today. So I'll put that to the side. Uh, and then I have one. Gosh, I, I'm a bit like Sheldon. I've actually got it written down what's in it. But in here I keep all, um, you know, dishwasher tabs and the uh, the rinseed product, everything that I need for the dishwasher, and extra uh, bags for uh, recycling and for the rubbish. So that that stays in there. But this one here, as you can see, yeah, like Sheldon, <laughs> cleaning products, and you can see here this is what I have. Um, there's not much in here. I've got, I, I keep them in plastic bags so I, I know what I need. This is for cleaning, it's a special stainless steel cleaner for cleaning the fridge. Uh, this is what I use on the floor. It's one of these environmentally friendly cleaners that just smells nice. I've um, got my pledge. And I keep extra. Uh, you know, rubber scrubbers and old toothbrushes, that's in that bag. I, I like to keep, keep them here because it means that this one is not kind of getting wet in the bottom. Uh, extra, I don't know what you call them, jiff cloths or, you know. Oh, here we are. Yeah, these were the two things I was looking for. Oh, an extra purple rag. Uh, so this can go back in. Oh my goodness, right, okay, we've gone for 14 minutes so far. I'll go a little bit longer today, um, just because I've been talking too much. <laughs> the other thing that I have in here are my little um, steel wool things that I cut in half because I'm very thrifty. I'm going to do a deep clean of my sink. Um, I'm just going to give it a bit of extra TLC. I'm going to give that a, a little clean. So that's one of those. And the other thing is I've got this uh, citric acid and I do, I use vinegar for de-chalking the, um, what do you call it, the ends of the taps. You know, I take the taps off and the taps in the bathroom and I sit them overnight in vinegar. The reason I don't use vinegar for doing 
the for dechalking the coffee machine is if you've ever tried it before you'll know it stinks to high heaven so you kind of come in the house and you whoa, you get that smell of hot vinegar not nice so i use citric acid for doing the uh, kettle and the coffee machine and also the dishwasher simply because it's just really easy uh, to portion out you know i can just measure out um, and I might just measure it straight into the dishwasher. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you back any longer. I've done a bit of cleaning in here, not really much because I've been talking so much today, so sorry for that. But I'm going to get on with mine. Uh, if you want to keep going for an extra five minutes, feel free to join me. If you've done your 15 minutes for the day, that's fine. Just leave it there, okay? I'm going to put this away. And there we go. And as I've said to you before, a lot of the cleaning and decluttering that I get done in this room uh, is simply when I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, when I'm waiting for dinner to cook. So it doesn't take that long. I'm just washing out the recycling bit. I'm going to leave that to soak for a bit. And the other things that you might like to think about when you're in the kitchen are if you have uh, an apron, maybe you want to throw that in the wash and take out a new one. And also make a list of uh, things that you need for, for zone two. Are you running out of kitchen roll? I've got my kitchen roll here and I have an extra one underneath. Do you need kitchen roll? Do you need to stock up on dishwasher tablets? Dishwasher, rinse aid, all of those things. There we are. Same for kettle. And that is the end of my box, so I'm going to add it to my list for LD. Let's see how many minutes we're going to... Okay. I won't switch the sun just now because it'll make too much noise. Uh, what next? Well, I'll tell you what, I shall shine my sink while I talk to you for the last couple of minutes and we'll go for 20 minutes, but no, no longer than that. So, and as I've said to you before, I don't really... Um, you know, I'm, sometimes I wear an apron when I'm working here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to get wet uh, doing the sink, so I'll put my apron on. But I don't normally use uh, gloves when I'm cleaning because when you're cleaning the fly lady way and doing it on a regular basis, you don't need all those toxic products. Yeah, we're, we're really kind of saving the planet by, by cleaning consistently, not having to use tons of soap and tons of toxic things. There we are. Yeah, we drink an awful lot of tea in our house, so it uh, can get quite brown in the sink. Oh, and you may have noticed, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, I've just got an, another minute to talk to you. Uh, you may have noticed that the uh, table is already set for dinner. That's because I love to cut corners, you may have noticed that. So in the morning, when I am unloading the dishwasher, I take the plates, instead of putting them back in the drawer, quite often I just set the, um, the table for dinner. And that's two birds, one stone. And it has the added advantage of, you know, people don't come in and dump things on your table because, oh, the table's set for dinner. All right. That is looking pretty good. So anyway, I got a few things done. I did the ceiling, I wiped down the counters, filled up my salt, you saw my fancy salt and pepper meal that makes Star Wars noises. Got my shank and sink shined there. And it's a bit. 
I've tied it out underneath the sink, washed out the recycling, then taken out the extraction uh, filters, put them in the dishwasher, and I am about to de chop the coffee machine and on this week where I'll be doing a bit of decluttering in, zo in zone two. Uh, anyway, I hope you managed to get something done. Sorry for going over the 15 minutes, but hey-ho, that's life. Okay, see you very soon. Live long and prosper.